Penis. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is New Pantheon Academia. I'm your host, Stephen Pope, uh, the professional hobbit, and we have a great episode in mind for you this week. Let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with their a detective secretly working for for a nefarious scheme against a big government. It's Aki. You bet your fucking ass I am. <laughs> I want to play everybody. that game now. Fuck. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. I play Emancipation Brown, otherwise known as Manny. And uh, they are, uh, oh gosh, what's the specific word? That, they're divinity. That's it. Their divinity is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. Uh, yeah, they fight with the sword and shield. And pretty soon I'm going to give them armor. But we'll see about that when it happens. You're they're just, just you know, stacking up the night thing. You know, they're they're a, they're a guardian, and you know, ultimately a paladin, and you know, they're here to make sure that like truth, justice, and harmony are served. We've gotten to the truth part. We've gotten to the justice part. We're waiting on the harmony second, like last, but certainly not least. Anyways, not, that's me. We're not great with the harmony chill here. We're not great with that. We're we're working on it. We're working on it. Next up, they just turned 11. We're given a rat and now have to go explore the continent. It's Eric. Why, hello, everybody. Uh, are you aware that rats are actually really cool? Uh, they're great, actually great pets. pets. They're super great pets. Uh, they're, they're very friendly. They recognize you like cats and dogs. They're great. Uh, yeah, I am uh, Eric, and I am playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, who is uh, the former captain of the football team and now man about town, uh, whose divinity is Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer. Got to say that very enthusiastically so people never forget. Yes. Mm -hmm. And finally, they're using fashion to fight demons in downtown areas near you. It's Critical Bard. Oh, that sounds cool. Hi, my name is Omega Channels, also known as the Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. Uh, I do too much, and I will continue to do too much because that's what I do professionally. Uh, today, I play Kuame Akinyemi, uh, the uh, captain of the basketball team. And, you know, safety squad person for hire. Uh, and uh, their uh, divinity is Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. We're going to win him over eventually. We are. Freelance safety about. squad. You got to love it. Mm -hmm. So He loves us. Yes. Less freelance mm -hmm. and more indentured or like oh. conscripted, I guess, is more accurate. Well, regardless of uh, his his status with the club, we are Saving Throw Show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're still aiming for 250 in tips or 15 new subs or Patreon pledges an episode. It helps pay our staff. It gets us art. It gets us new things. It gets us food. I Listen, I, I have a lot of need for Diet Coke, so like, it helps with that. It really does. Um, for $15, 1,500 bits, or five gift subs, we will read a message to you from our beautiful school announcer who canonically fucks, and I'm still reeling from that. I talked about it with my therapist, and they told me to uh, move on with my life. I'm sorry if the idea of uh, an older woman that's in touch with her sexuality offends you. Makes you feel uncomfortable? That sounds like hmm. definitely... Look at that. Yep, you fell into that hole. Just okay. like she falls into... Never mind. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with it in real life. This isn't a real person, okay? It's real to me. So fictional things make you feel strange. Interesting. CB, what did I do to you? No, I'm. Mean, you set it up. I guess. I guess alley ooped. I, I don't deserve this. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we want to set, send a special thanks to our sponsors over at Roll Twenty and Die Hard Dice. Roll Twenty is a virtual tabletop that anyone can use for free. Signing up is free. It has amazing toys, tools, everything you need to make it so you can play with your friends all around the world. Uh, I regret to inform you they're after me and I might not make it past this next few minutes. Just the entire, I, I don't know if you could hear the ridiculousness. I told you, outside. I told you, I told you, if you're going to hide the body, you got to hide the body well, okay? Listen. All right. You can't Everything is bigger it. than me. You can't just leave the body somewhere in Anaheim and be surprised, okay? You gotta, but yeah, you gotta go further. There is a whole cacophonous, ridiculous mess happening outside my apartment building right now. I apologize. 
Welcome to Los Angeles, folks. <laughs> there are helicopters. I can hear them. Oh, my God. Oh, this is almost as good as the time we had an earthquake on stream. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, thank you to Roll20. And also thank you to Die Hard Dice. Uh, they make beautiful dice in all sorts of colors, materials, and what have you. And if you use the code Saving Throw Show at checkout at Die Hard Dice, you can get 10% off your order. Use command exclamation point DHD dice. It DH dice. I'm gonna get that right one day. In chat for links and info. And you can even order the critical bard set. They're gorgeous. They're beautiful. They look like Linda Evangelista. So they're just like just like him. Um and it's like double dipping helping friends. So who doesn't want to do that? And hey, if you're not watching us live, thank you. We still appreciate and love you. Uh, make sure you leave a like, comment, feed the algorithm, because it really does help. And final, the final thing, last thing, I swear to God. Uh, gods, plural, new pantheon, uh-huh. Uh, you can join the Exploration Society. Our Patreon is a special place, comes with pins, swag, merch discounts, one-page adventures where you have to save me and I'm a bald little hobbit, so it's a little too close to real life. But hey, they're great adventures. Be part of the society and join up today. All right, with all of that out of the way, <clears throat> summer has finally come to North Point, Oregon. School is quiet. The campus is in that weird liminal transitional period where it's being cleaned, it's being prepared, They're it's being repaired. All shit we destroyed. So many things broken during the spring semester. My God. Oh, they got some money. They fine. They got money. They do got money here. But you have two weeks with no school. No school. And Dr. Ash, the founder of North Point Academy has even told you to take some time off. Go, have fun, be children because you are teenagers. And that is why our story begins outside the Thatcher summer home. Let me go ahead and get the music going as I read off what beautiful amenities the Thatcher summer home offers. The Thatcher Summer Home features four uh, features four full bathrooms, eight bedroom bedrooms, uh, two infinity pools, a uh, at least three known jacuzzis, a helicopter pad, and a live-in uh, chef and butler. The home is gated, private, and has its own private beach off the Oregon coast. And the three of you stand outside it with it looming overhead, and it is really, really freaking boss. Yeah, I, I, I apologize. Um, yeah, sorry, we, we had to go with the smaller home because my dad's with Stacy on the boat. Sorry, my dad's with mom on the boat, so. Do you have to call her mom? Uh, it, uh, he has told me that, uh, yeah, she is now my, um, yeah. Mr. Thatcher sucks. <laughs> Do you have to call her mom? I mean, I guess. He's I guess not you, here. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I don't have to. Kwame's just looking at this place and turns back to Lenny as they're talking. Look, my father has money. I, I didn't say we'd be like broke, but like, this is like excessive. Why do you think he has a whole wing named after him? I mean, yeah, but like this, you said this is the smaller of two homes. Well, I mean, well, this is the smaller summer home because uh, the yacht is a little bigger. Um, but, uh, but the uh, yacht is bigger than the entire summer home itself. Why are we not on the yacht? yacht? That's a well, because I told you, uh, uh, dad's with uh, Stacy. Stacy. Cool. Okay, well, I mean, look, I will, I will, I will thrive off of your privilege for a bit of time. This is fine with me. Yeah, I mean, I guess as the infinity pool. 
as Chris Rock said, you know, there there are rich people and then there there are wealthy people. I guess we're who is this extra voice, by the way, that we're hearing? Anansi. Yeah. Oh, is that Anansi? Okay, I figured. <laughs> oh, Anansi's there with a little straw hat and he's got a suitcase and a Hawaiian shirt. Like he's ready for vacation. I just love that Anansi lives his best life each time he appears. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys gave me a character I can put in silly costumes. It's going to happen. So I heard you say, Lenny, that there are three known jacuzzis. Does that mean there is an unknown jacuzzi around here somewhere? Because that sounds like a mystery to solve. I mean, there was uh, on one of the brochures, it said four. Uh, but then the, the it says three. In Wait the, a minute, the brochure? And, well, I mean, when, when when we bought it or whatever, it's it said four, but then there were only three. So there, like, so there's like... my. My actual mom would say that there's like a secret one somewhere and that I had to find it. I haven't found it yet. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like an adventure. I feel bad that Dahlia is missing this today. Well, you know, Dahlia, she had some, she had, you know, theater camp stuff. She's back. She's currently in Los Angeles with uh, some other theater department kids having a wonderful time exploring on the Warner Brothers backlot tour. Yeah, she said she's going to see Kinky Boots tonight. Oh, I've heard of that one before. I have too. Heard it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so let's stop standing outside and go inside of your very Caucasian privileged home. Uh, yeah. Out of nowhere uh, rises a man. He has a large hook nose, pale skin, and wears a black uh, suit. Master oh, Lennox, a... it's wonderful to see you again. Oh, yeah. Are these your friends? Yep. Uh, these are my, these are some of my friends from school. Uh, and we're here to stay because because we, we got the time off school. So we're going to like kick it here. I'm so happy to hear that, Master Lennox. Hello there. My name is Julius. I am the butler of the smaller summer estate you remind me of someone i've seen before is it jeeves is it no no have you ever heard of a movie called rocky horror even though it's a beautiful summer day and there's not a cloud in the sky lightning strikes oh, never crap. heard of it um Cool. Strange weather we're having. Mm -hmm. Don't suppose we could come in and use the phone? <laughs> well, I assume you all have cell phones, but absolutely. Obviously, mansions have phones. Castles don't. Dolly yeah. would have gotten but it. You got to make sure you hit, uh, you, you have to hit uh, pound seven, because otherwise you're just calling inside the house. Mm -hmm. Kwame's creeped out. He's walking inside. <laughs> Mm -mm. Your 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 uh, butler is an interesting guy, Lenny. Oh yeah, he's all right. Even how long have you known him? Um, let's see. Uh, I guess my entire life. Oh wow. Okay. Yes. Cool. Um, as you walk into the summer home, you do see uh, actual family portraits of the Thatcher family. They are about as Caucasian and handsome as you expect. Uh, they're, you also notice they go back a while. And literally, Julius is in every single one of them. And he does not age. Well, you know, I mean, I guess it, the good thing about all of you being as good looking as you are is that you possibly avoided the, the, the pitfalls that a lot of like really rich, affluent white families have. I mean, not really. Uh, we just can afford I, I those special that, doctors like, that uh, make your oh. face look all right. Oh, okay, so you... Oh, is there inbreeding in your ancestors? I was just wondering. I mean, there's inbreeding in all uh, levels of, uh, of wealth of, of our stature. I mean, uh, if, if you go deep... I mean, because cause like, it's all like a big shell game to in order to maintain power and keep it away from certain amounts of people. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, I'm related to like six or seven different... like current or former like kings of Europe or whatever. Huh. White dynasties are so interesting. 
Eric, and by you find Lenny's oh, actual no. royalty? I'm I'm going the the the. I mean, they're old money. Like he's not royalty, but like he's got like a second cousin who is like the prince of whatever or like the the, the he's like the like, like rockefeller money yeah. yeah like yes kwame as you wander through the house uh heading towards one of the rooms uh the windows are open the doors are open it's beautiful there's a wonderful breeze uh you notice a uh picture it doesn't look that old, but you do recognize a small child in it. Uh, you can figure out pretty easily that's Lenny as a child. And he's joined by what a... What a cutie! He was a very cute kid. And he's joined by a very uh, handsome, square-jawed uh, teenager. Oh. Do I recognize a teenager? No. Huh. I see the picture, and I probably just keep looking. If it doesn't like strike me as anything, I don't think he would like necessarily stop on it. But he does see like you no know, small lady and goes, "Oh, that's cute." You were even more blonde. Oh yeah. Is that? Oh yeah, that that's Quentin. Who's? Oh, oh, I. Exactly. That that makes more sense now. He's yeah. handsome too. Yeah, I think he was, he was 15 in that photo. Yeah. How much older? He seems a lot more well, seems yeah, he, a he, lot more older than you. He he was uh 10 years older than me. But now I'm 6 months older than him. It's weird how that works. Ah, oh. uh, yes. Um Do you want to show us around your oh, yeah. space? Oh. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> He's just gonna show him like, like all the all his favorite rooms. Yes. Uh, Manny is hanging back just a little so that Kwame and Lenny can like walk next to each other, oh, like Jesus. just you know, very like slightly hanging back, just a little third wheel in over here. It's fine, but not like in a oh man, I'm a third wheel. We're like Ooh, I'm a third wheel. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, Not like this. <laughs> yes, there is a beautiful dining room. Uh, there's two dining rooms actually. One much more casual than the other one because you can't have you can't wear shorts in the good dining room, but you can't wear shorts in the normal dining room. Uh, there is a game room with some out of date consoles and a foosball table and a uh, air hockey table as well because white people love air hockey. Uh, there is also a uh, hot spring. Uh, in the house. If I can interject, it's one of those eight in ones where it's oh, like God. air hockey, but it can also be a pool table or snook, like you can change the top. Nice. Wow. Not that thing where you like uh, when you yeah, it can to... also it can also be a little miniature basketball thing. Yeah, like, it's got all the attachments. <laughs> Woof. You have your own arcade. It's pretty neat. Oh yeah, I guess I guess technically this one counts. It's smaller than the one at home, but yeah. Well, this is nice. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wonder how much this place gets used. Um, I feel like just, you know, wasting money, keeping it... Once or twice a year by me. <laughs> I don't know. Dad comes here. Mom doesn't come here anymore. Um, I don't... So this place is basically like yours. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Kind of. Would you like, once you're graduating, you know, you become like a full adult, like, like we all will eventually. Uh, would, is this where you will like live or would you, don't, don't tell me you'll get a different home. Um, well, I, I don't know if I, I mean, I guess I Unless could live you here. want a place of your own. Like I mean, that's yours, yours. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind like my own stuff. It's not really mine you know also it's haunted so what uh, excuse me well i mean that's what that's why my, my mom said that there's ghosts manny perks up at that ghosts really yeah 
Uh, why are there ghosts in your home? You know, it's a summer home. You know, it's we're next to the beach. Me and and Sand and Julius Caesar. Um, ghost? Why ghost? Why? Why couldn't it be butterflies? Um, well, because uh, we don't get butterflies this far north. Uh, because it's too it's too far north of the equator. But we um, get ghost. I mean, ghosts are everywhere. Uh, as far as I am been told. I mean, I'm not like an expert on like ghosts or whatever. Um, so can we go ghost hunting, please? Oh, yeah, absolutely. The emancipation. Um, Where you know, when the, 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 oh, I, I own this because of a different show. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. at some point I'm going to bust it out for Manny. Anytime they're like mystery. <laughs> oh no, it's perfect for Manny. You need, there's a trope that is, uh, I don't know the, the title, the name of the trope, but it's when, the the melanin deficient go towards the problem versus away from it. You are inverting that trope for yourself, and that's scary. Listen, listen. I understand what the tropes say, but and I understand that we are technically supposed to be like, nah, bruh, I am I ain't mess with any of that shit. But I don't know. There's something fun of with also going, everybody expects me to be like, nah, I'm not gonna fuck with any of that. And being like, no, I'm going to. I'm gonna poke the things that are not supposed to be poked, and then I'm gonna defeat them. This is not a a moment of like reputation. Like, I don't care if someone knows that I said nope. Why? Because I'm still alive once it's all said and done versus the one who goes into there and then they are, you know, traumatized for the rest of their life. Uh, nah, I'm, I'll be fine. I'll also, be fine. like, not to, not to be that person or whatever, but, like, you know, I didn't always believe in ghosts, uh, but a few months ago I flew away from Parham using beer I shot from my hands towards my friend's room who had touched an evil key and he kicked me out a window. So like, you know, ghosts are probably real too. That doesn't mean we go towards it just because we know there's a possibility based off the things we have experienced as high schoolers in a school, but we should not be experiencing these things other than history class recess in the nasty lasagna that comes okay. from the cafeteria. Okay. Okay. Kwame, I think maybe you need to, uh, Strip down to just your your bathing trunks and hit a pool. I'm or going. I or walk away. I start to strip off my clothes. I already have my speedo underneath, and I am walking towards the nearest thing of water. <laughs> underneath your shirt, uh, a Nazi crawls out. He's currently wearing uh, one of those scream ghost face masks and a little Freddy Krueger hat. Uh, he scurries out. I miss my opportunity. Yeah. Not now. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that Kwame completely appreciates my sense of adventure, Lenny. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I get that. But I, I'm hecka excited to go find out if there's an actual ghost or whatever. Maybe I can find your other jacuzzi, too. Oh, that actually, honestly, that'd be a big win for me. I can reveal all kinds of fun truths about this place. I have the power. Aha. If you all look outside a window, I picture this place has like lots of openness like, to it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, 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 you Black see, houses. you see Kawame just get to, I'm going to spend an AP point. You see uh, Kawame get to the, uh, uh, the uh, the nearest pool that he finds, uh, he just like splays his hands out, and a lot of web comes out and rearranges itself into like the biggest floaty ever. Uh, and he just like jumps in, lays in it, and just ah. Uh. He certainly doesn't know how to relax though. What's the deal with you two? Huh? You heard me. Don't make me repeat myself. Uh, I don't know. I do. Uh, says Nin Ninkasa. Oh, <laughs> oh, please <laughs> let me know, cause like sometimes these things like fly right past me. 
appearing behind you, Lenny, is the uh, palm frond armed grain goddess. And she just pats you on the head. Oh, no, 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 no. This is definitely a you gotta figure it out thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently, I have to figure it out. I believe in you. You got this. Okay. Cool. Is there anything, though, that like you would particularly like me to figure out about this place besides the jacuzzi and the ghosts? Hmm. Um... I don't know. I think that's probably the weirdest thing. And you just see him standing next to like the series of paintings of the single butler who doesn't seem to age and has been in the family for generations. I can't think of like anything else that like stands out as like something that needs investigating. What if it comes up? I'll let you know. Okay. Cool. Manny, as you start to kind of put two and two together, Julius appears behind you. You don't ah! know from where. And he carries with him a sandwich. Oh. oh, I brought you sandwiches, sir. Oh, thank you. For you and your friends. Cool. I cut the crust off just the way you like them. Oh, cool. Uh, I mean, you don't have to. Like, uh, apparently crust is, is, is okay or whatever. So if you don't want to, like, go through all that work, you don't have to. But, like, yeah. Thanks. Your wish is my demand, Master Lennox. Oof. Oof. Mas I mean, Master Emancipation, can I get you anything? A soda. That's a really weird combination of words. Master Emancipation. I don't think I like it. You just call me Manny. Just call me Manny. I tried that. Like, I've been trying that for, like, a long time. And, I'm like, I'm not saying that you should not try it. But, like, he doesn't listen. <laughs> you know what, Manny? I'm going to ask... Okay, Aki, go ahead and give me a uh, charisma roll. Let's see if you can get, <laughs> see if you can convince this guy to, to not call you Master Emancipation, which is also a great name, by the way. Mm -mm. No, no, it ain't. No, it no, ain't. No. <laughs> Six. Six. Mm. Master Manny, perhaps. It's slightly better. Slightly better. All right, then. All right. We will solve mysteries at a later time. For now, swimming and sandwiches. Yay. All right. So, Kwame, as you are splayed out on your uh, web-made floaty, is it shaped like anything? I'm just imagining it shaped like a swan for some reason. Uh, no, it's not a swan. Um, it's... Uh... Ooh, it's like a golden like chaise lounge. Um, it's like a no, it's like it's like a golden like 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 mini sofa, um, and with like a pillow, but it's not actually a pillow. It's just you know part of the floaty. Um, and he's literally just like head back, arms out, just ah. Uh. In a tiny uh shade lounge next to you with one of those reflective uh tanning what do you call those things that kind of look like a mm, I know what you're talking about sunblocker but yeah worse. um and wearing four pairs of sunglasses because spider Anansi just relaxes gets his bliss on and eventually asks so well he doesn't ask so much as he states you know if you marry him we could live like this I am 17 years old. 16. 16. Am I 16 or 17? I don't know. Wait, no, no. This, this help me. Lenny, how old are you? You're you're both juniors, I think. Yeah. No, so, I thought Lenny was a sophomore. Yeah, I was a sophomore. Yeah. Okay, you're the junior. I'm the junior, yeah. I, th I think I'm 16. I think I'm 17. 16. 16. 17. How old are you, Lenny? Are you 15 or 16? Uh, 16. I'm 17. There we go. <laughs> I, I know it's one year older. Also, I am also 16. So. Nice. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, I go, I am 17 years old. I don't need to be thinking about marriage right now. I'm thinking about this water, which is very warm. I wonder how they keep it warm constantly. Um, very warm. It's very comforting. Stress is running off of my shoulders like the River Jordan. I don't have to worry about anything. Just sitting here. No marriage. 
It's at that point you hear someone, a very familiar voice, scream, Cannonball! As none other than Kim Winters. Oh, Jesus. Comes in and cannonballs into the (laughs) infinity pool you are relaxing in. I am going to, for my sake, pop this out because I've not popped out my character sheet yet. Just to see how well I don't hold on. <laughs> yes, this is going to be a dexterity roll. Nope, that's a two. <laughs> Your little uh, golden sofa. Whoop. Ah! <laughs> Just into the water. <laughs> Oh man, she stole my move. You weren't even invited. Nah, uh, I I told Kim what was up, and Kim asked to come, and I was like, hell yeah. Hey, I've been working hard too. Nah, now you're working hard to ruin my perfect moment in this water. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Oh. Are you a bad swimmer? Is that what this is? No, no, I'm not a great swimmer. That's not the problem. No, I was just relaxing. I was having a relaxing moment, and now the relaxation has been shattered like a mirror. You know? Oh, did you have one of those moments where someone brought up something scary and you kind of ha- had a little bit of a moment? No, you quite literally cannonballed next to me, and the disruption of water caused me to fall off of my reality woven floaty. That is what happened. You interrupted his peace, Kimmy. Yes. The peace I seek to protect. It has now has it's been it's been shattered. It's been budged into. You know do you want a, you want a sandwich? Actually, yes. What kind is it? Ooh, sandwiches. Uh a variety. I, finger sandwiches. Oh yeah. I will take a, a turkey and Swiss. Yep. Got those. Ooh, There's also tuna here and some eat? cucumber and cream cheese. Yep. Um, some for the non-kosher among us. Yeah. Although I would imagine Manny eats halal since they're Muslim. So. Fair enough. Why did I not know that? I should have known that, but I didn't know that. Yeah, Manny is Muslim. Nice. I did not know that either. Good to know. I mentioned it in season two of Academia when their parents came to visit. You are right. That did come up. You are right. Ah, so Kim swims to the edge of this edgeless pool, pulls herself up. She's wearing a one piece, uh, definitely school given uh swimsuit. It's not cute, but it definitely works. Ah, uh, man, she wrings her hair out. Ah, uh, this place is exactly what I imagine you would come from, Lenny. Oh, thank you. Hey, I, I don't want to like uh like tell you how to live your life, but um if you if you want uh you could probably fit into any one of my dad's girlfriends. I mean, mom's swimsuits. Stacy. Stacy's swimsuits. Hmm. Quick question: Do we like Stacy? Um, Do we have any opinion on? Stacey? I haven't met her yet. Uh, but she was married to my dad now, so uh, I guess that's cool. Oh, that's why the camera crew's over there. What? Uh, at the edge of the bil- at the edge of the forested area behind your mansion, you see Julius <sighs> with a broom chasing off a man with a camera and a woman who Those assholes are back. Those assholes are again. Lenny, you, you need a restraining order or something against those guys. Mm. Well, Julius is doing a number on them with that broom. Yeah. Julius can, like, uh, handle himself pretty well. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like I f- he won't talk about it, but I feel like he was in some military somewhere. You have a... He's... How well do you know Julius? Um, I mean, I've only known him since I was born. Uh, and And, you know... Spent he every seems- summer here of my life uh, as a child. But apart from that, not very well. He seems like he's been around for a hot second. Oh, yeah. 
And at this point, you know, Manny is also like, you know, finally getting into the pool himself and like, you know, doing, doing like little laps around the pool. And every now and again, they'll get close to Kwame and just like flick him with a little bit of water. Just ah! you know, <laughs> and then swim away. Kim is absolutely his, joining you on their this. tongue. Kim is absolutely joining you on this little parade. Um, I like. Also, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, as they do this, I like you know push over, and I'm not sure if Lenny's in the water yet, but I like push the floaty over to Lenny. Uh, at least next, I guess, get away from the two doing laps. It's more so to give them space, not to get closer to Lenny. But you might as well go next to a friend, and he still lays back. Mm-hmm. Hey, Manny, I think I, I think there's something over there for us to go look at. Let's go look at that over. There, Kim says as she paddles. Oh, yeah, what's over there? At this. Don't worry Can about it. Oh, oh, okay. Very, very. Is there something we need to know about? No, everything's fine. We got this taken care of. Okay, but if it's something cool, you'll let me know. Yeah. Okay. As close, okay. When I get close enough to Kim, I just kind of lightly elbow her, like that. Ow, subtle subtlety. Even I'm better at it that. I'm bad at subtlety. I'm. You know how you stay subtle? Just don't say anything. If you don't want to, if you want to leave them alone, let them do their thing. Then you just swim away quietly. Well, fine. But I also still want to hunt. I want to hunt down that mystery, uh, you know, hot tub too. We could do that. How do you even know about that? Oh, uh, Jeeves told me. Julius. His name is yeah. Julius. Yeah, I'm going to call him Jeeves and you know this. Okay. Sure. Cool. Um, I guess as they walk away, he's not like timing it as they leave, but no, he notices it gets quieter and he's laying back and he is just relaxed. Um, and he says, So how you been, buddy? Be like honest. You don't have to like, you know, um uh, hold shit back. This is relaxation time. That means we are just letting it be. No, no more school, no more. Scarecrows or Dr. Wang or all that shit. We're just gonna breathe. Um yeah. Um I'm all right. Uh it's uh strange. Like um uh my therapist said like um I was using football as a shortcut to an identity. Um and then when I cut that free, uh I'm kinda like free fro- floating and uh, figuring th- stuff out. And it's like, it's like super scary sometimes. Cause like, I don't know, like people like, Oh, do you want to do this? I'm like, Oh, I don't know. Do I want to do it? Or am I just doing it? Cause like people want me to do it. And it's, it's hard. Like, I don't know what I like and stuff. So I'm like trying to figure out that that's like, been a, been like my whole journey for like a little while now. Have you had any discovery in that uh, aspect? Um, figuring out what you like and what you want to do. I mean, you're only 16. Not like you have to stress yourself out over over not knowing who you are. I don't know who I am. I'm still learning. Um, and to be fair, if I don't know what I am, I make reality be what I want it to be. So am I actually doing what I should be or am I forcing it? I don't know. But Oh, yeah. I can see how that could be. Like, how much is your like influence like Changing people or affecting people. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I found that the one thing that I found that I, I I really like is like that we help people. So I think like I don't know, I like I like helping people. Uh I don't know how else to do it besides like, you know, punching devils or whatever. But like I imagine there's like things I can do to help people that are not that. So like I don't know. At first, I thought I should be a therapist, but I don't think I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to do that. But like, I don't know. I feel like I like doing things that make people's lives better. So, like, if you're I much could, more of a hands-on person. You don't yeah. really go back. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I, don't be a cop because all cops are bastards. Oh no, yeah. But, uh, uh, I'm not interested in protecting uh, the property of rich people. Uh, as as <laughs> rich people can protect their own property. <laughs> Just look at yeah. I mean, but I mean, you. I mean, that's that's stuff. That's stuff you could do. That's social work and and things of like that. If if that's the route you want to go. Um, but again, I mean, yeah. 
it's 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 that's that's a, that's a job. I mean, what you're doing right now is what you can with the age and experience you have right now. I don't know. Um, I mean, if I be honest, I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do too. Uh, I can't always have an unsee, you know, just create a way for me. I have to make it be. Um, and uh, I mean, I agree. I, I I like helping people. It's it wasn't what I expected. I tend to just float and do what I need to do. Like I'm floating now. This is pretty nice. But um, I don't know. Maybe I should start thinking about that. But I'll think about that once you know the situation gets handled. I mean, if there's one thing I uh, I've learned uh, is that there's no like path or whatever. There's just like you know, there's always going to be a choice in front of you, and you're going to make your choices. Uh, so you try to make better ones than you've made before, but there's not like a road, like the road in front of you is a lie or whatever. Uh, that's true, but, um, with Anansi, um, reality is very much tied to fate. Um, you, you can change what you want but the outcome tends to still be somewhat the same or it's not drastic um and That's, uh i gotta say i'm i'm glad you're the one who's got that power because like i don't know i don't trust myself like i don't like i can like read people's minds and stuff and like i don't i don't even do it because i feel like like if I start doing it, I'm not going to be able to stop. I'm going to be reading everyone's mind all the time. So I try not to do it. So if I change the world uh, without asking people's permission, like I don't, th- I'm not the guy for that. I, I'm, um, I've learned um, to um, have a little more res- restraint. Small things won't affect the timeline, the fate, the web as much. Um, but big things have drastic uh, consequences. And I've learned firsthand what that looks like. Uh, you can tell that like his mood definitely just changed. <sighs> but, you know, it's... Um, it's yeah. I learned a lot. There's this really classic old movie uh, 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 called Family Man. Uh, about a man who like wishes for a different life, but then like it's like not what he wanted, or it's like better than he wanted, or whatever. It's it's, uh, yeah. So like changing stuff can be scary too, but like sometimes it's like for the better or for worse. I don't know. The Nicolas Cage movie? Yes, I was referencing a Nicolas Cage movie. Ah, out of out of curiosity, um, is Lenny always aware that he's reading somebody's mind? Is it something he's learned to turn on and off, or does it just kind of happen? It's an uh, for him. It's, I think, he may have sometimes slipped, but it's usually an active thing he does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. It's a skill. It's a skill. Makes sense. Go cool, go. Cool. Okay. Um. But yeah, yeah. You know, it, uh, I've never seen that movie, but um, I'm sure it has good. Oh, it's heck uh, of good. He's like uh, the main dude. Uh, is that uh, that dude uh, from from that B movie? Uh, and he's he's all like he's like a businessman, but then he's like not anymore. And he's got a kid, and he's like, oh no, I don't want a kid. But then he's like, oh, being being a dad's like heck of good. So maybe I don't want to be a businessman. Anansi produces a DVD of it. Oh, um, that's cool. Um, maybe we can watch it or something. I've never seen it. If you like it that much, we can watch it. Oh yeah, it's and, but it's like a Christmas movie, so I don't know if it works right now. Ah, well, we'll watch something. Hey, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I've been thinking about something. It's nothing to do with your haunted house or your creepy butler or your secret jacuzzi. I think I've missed something about our scarecrows. I'm trying to figure out what it is. And I know that we're supposed to be on vacation or whatever and not worrying about that stuff. But I was wondering if either of you two figure out what the connection between all of them is because i don't know i don't know what the bigger mystery here is and usually i like figure it out really quickly 
this time I'm kind of stumped. Well, um, there, there was, uh, and he kind of like rolls off of the floaty and he now like sits on like a step, but still in the water. So he's like mm -hmm. actively sitting, uh, but he's still relaxing. Um, well, they all came from the door that was connected, you know, the door of oblivion. Uh -huh. And there's Odin. Uh -huh. They aren't actually, we, we, we call them scarecrows, but that's not what they were. They're like demons or something. Um, Kim joins uh, the three of you with a very oversized, fruity, mixed drink. And she sits down on the pool next to you guys. By the way, Jeeves makes a great drink. Uh, yeah, what were they actually called? Um, I think they were demons. Are they actually connected to any specific, like, like pantheon? Like, or are they all from separate ones? I don't know. I mean, I've... Before I didn't, this, like, we had the chess pieces, and they were kind of easy to sort of be like, oh, they're from chess, but this yeah. one was, like, weird. So, like, w what religion has Chicken Baby and Eye Beast? Well, they were they were not demons. They were sins. But they weren't, like, seven deadly sins. But they were very, like, goetic, very Judeo-Christian in a way. But it was Odin. And Oda's not Christian. That's that's you know that's that's. Well, it was all father. And then the last one was not exactly a scarecrow. Because it, it well, I think the difference. Uh, and I mean, I may mess up all these facts in my head. Uh, they get scrambled sometimes. But like, the scarecrows were dead gods that were like I don't know, like brought in like puppeted or whatever. Uh, they weren't like, and then like they kind of came back sometimes, but these were like straight up things possessing people or whatever in, mm -hmm. in a way that hadn't been done before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, and it seems, I don't know if they're getting harder to deal with. The last one, Valak, that was a. That was weird. I. The first two, I got the keys. The second, the third one was destroyed. And then this one didn't have a key at all. We fought them and they just died. Yeah. Mm. I'm I, not exactly figuring out where this, like the strings connect either just yet. Uh, Kim puts down her drink. Well, the keys are just kind of how they move, right? So it's kind of like how they, you know, it's like when you go to sleep, you're still there, but you're not there. Or like when you're doing with someone in a coma. So maybe the reason they didn't produce a key was because there was nothing to produce a key left. Maybe whatever you did to it, just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I oh, sorry, Lenny. No, I was going to say, like, I was always under the impression that, like, it's not like all gods are keys. It's just that, like, they got they all got like turned into them like they existed outside of that or whatever before they were keys like the key thing is just a means to like con control them or whatever a uh, way to conceal what's left i mean i agree with that when i whatever i did to old girl um and like entered her heart or something i was tried to reach in um i saw a door a literal door, and um, when that closed or when this entity came out, it was just nothing. So perhaps, yeah, uh, Paimon and I believe it was Phoenix, perhaps they're not dead. They're just locked away and they can't be used anymore. The third, I don't know what happened to it completely. Maybe it just can't form and then um, Verlock is definitely dead. Well, I guess when we get back to school, I should put my mystery cap on for that one and see if I can figure out exactly what what is the connection. My red well, string theory isn't working as well as it usually does this time around. Do, do you actually have one of those little boards with the 
only in my mind. Um, wait. I've started building one for this place. It's already pretty expansive. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Uh oh. Technical issues, folks. Uh, while we wait for them, real quick, just a quick reminder: we are brought to you by Roll Twenty, the wonderful, 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 versatile uh, virtual tabletop. Uh, it's completely free. Highly recommended. Also, we are. $35 away from our, oh, no, we are $20 away from our next uh, uh, tier unlock, so thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Also, I'll go ahead and address this. We have unlocked our first tier, rerolls. Four rerolls for the table. Woohoo, welcome back. There he is. I definitely accidentally clicked the button, and I did not try to. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You okay? Oh, great. Nothing was wrong. I literally just accidentally clicked X and left. <laughs> no. Well, there are downsides to virtual tabletops. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna say something brave yet brave yet controversial. Um, but yeah, Kim puts down uh, her drink. She's already halfway through it. So like, who exactly has gotten one of these demon keys? Like, who received them at the beginning, or who has them now? Well, like, okay. So first we fought off uh, that Brendan. one guy. Brendan! Yeah, I was going to call it the Wall of Meat. Uh, then there was uh, the girl who... Uh, wasn't she president of the drama club or something? Yes. That was with Fe Phoenix, right? No, Phoenix was the girl who did the horror movie club thing. Remember, she did. She ran that maze that made you, you know, mm -hmm. Kim stops um, herself before she gets mean. Stop um, it. Um, uh, Gap. Gap was with the president. No, right. Gap was with the uh, the drama club girl. I'm forgetting their names, and I didn't write it down. That's on me. Christina. Uh, uh, and Valak was with the uh, tiny woman uh layla layla that's her name that's the president yeah not to be I that mean, girl but it sounds like it's going after people we're friends with i mean not not necessarily even friends but like obvious leaders of like stuff brendan's the captain of the football team christina is the captain of the drama club uh Name I already forgot was cap uh, was in charge of the horror club, and then Layla is the president of the whole school. So yeah, it seems to me that it's not exactly that they're attacking our friends so much as they're attacking the leadership. They're attacking people who have influence. Oh, <laughs> hey, but that's I weird because I mean I guess they can't not to like make myself out to be something better. I'm the captain of the back of basketball team. Nothing tried to come for me, but I guess they couldn't. Might be because you're be already inhabited inhabited by a deity. And Nazi now has a halo and a small harp. Yes, I am a guardian angel. Blink, blink, yeah, blink. yeah, sure. Yes, Anansi, you are a precious little bean. Um, but no, seriously, that might be why they haven't had the ability to come after you because you're already you're you're a filled parking spot. But here's also the thing: they started with Brendan. At least that's the first one we ran into, captain of the football team. They went to. The horror girl. Sorry, I don't remember everybody. Um, Rhea then they, I only know that because uh, we... Rhea? Maria. Maria. Maria Chavez, you're correct. Thank you. Um, they went after her, or at least that's who we ran into next. And after that, it was the drama club president. And then it was the school president themselves. Who's next? What's, what's greater than that? Well, they might not know... They might not know the difference between levels of... Well, that's my thing. The reason I say they do is Valak was stronger than the other three. It's true. I mean, And the they only, went for the school president. The only other people I guess they could go after is somebody else. I mean, they could try and come after us. Maybe we're not protected. Maybe they just haven't tried yet. And then, of course, there's also, you know, uh, our, our president, like our principal, like the dean of the school and and Dr. Wang and could go after one of our teachers. 
one of the ones that doesn't have a divinity. That's what I was thinking too. Or your dad. Kim says or you our... can eat you, Kwame. Huh? Why 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 would they go after our parents? Well, my father is influential. Yeah, your dad's a politician, right? But I figured they would stay in school. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know that. Well, we don't know how far their reach goes. After all, we did have exchange students. A couple of them had divinities. So it's obviously not just a, our school thing. I think we need to talk to... Not, I mean, not now. We are on vacation. This is not the time. But we need to talk to um, Dr. Ash. We have yeah. not talked in a while. And even Dr. Wang, see if she's waking up by now. Yeah, checking in with them when we get back from vacation sounds like a good idea. But we are on vacation, and so I put a moratorium on this conversation. You want to go find this mystery thing you were talking about? The, the mystery pool. jacuzzi? Yes, mystery jacuzzi. Yes, 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 yes. Kim has walked over to Letty. She has her hands around your uh, ribs. She's pulling you up. Come on, come on. We got to go. We're, 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 okay. we're, we're jacuzzi hunting. No. Cool. Kim is very strong. She can lift Lenny out of a pool. It's less lifting, more trying desperately to and failing. Yeah, Lenny's doing a lot of the, the like making it. Like he wants to make her feel good, so you see like jets of water are helping her. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, Lenny I being it. over accommodating as usual. I need intelligence rolls from all of you Ooh. as you begin the hunt. Can I can I uh can I get Maat mixed into this so that if I can If you would hide? like to, absolutely. Also, uh I'm going to give Manny a plus two on this roll because they have been investigating throughout this episode. I got all a right, four. So I'm gonna spend my AP so that I can do an intelligence power roll instead, or intelligence range, I think, actually. Whichever you'd like to use, I think both are fair. Seven for me overall. <sighs> I'm gonna do power. Though I, I believe in actually, you. Yeah, give myself the higher die, just as a, just to be nice to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use a reroll. <laughs> oh, my goody goody go! I'm drops. going to use a reroll. Yes, we please do. Ow. There we go. Ten. Much better. Slightly okay. better. Jeez. So 12. So 12. Because you. 12, yes. Yeah. yes. That's the, with the plus six, 12. Jeez, that was horrific first roll. So the three of you joined by Kim explore this massive estate. You find more bathrooms and marble than any house absolutely needs. You find bedrooms that don't look like they've been used ever. You find offices that you know have never been used, but they're quite nice. Uh, However, thanks to our beautiful chat, um, you do find an office that is actually used. Lenny, you would know this as uh, your father's vacation office because vacation isn't exactly a word in the Thatcher lexicon. It's, it's like my dad always says, every vacation's an opportunity. I think my dad actually did say something like that one time. <laughs> um, as the four of you... But there's no jacuzzi in here, so most of you keep going. Kwame, however, you see a letter on the desk. Uh, it is in very familiar handwriting, and it's from the, well, you recognize your father's stationery. Hmm. It is a, we have unlocked politics in my NPA. It's more likely than you think. Right in front of my salad. Right in front uh, of my salad. Yes. How much the Thatcher family ties to the Akinim family? Oh God. Oh God. Um. Mm, mm. The letter yeah. is from your father thanking uh, the Thatchers for their generous donation, doubly so, uh, in such a troubled time for the family. Uh. It goes on, and apparently these men have been in contact for a while. 
And we didn't discuss it, but yeah, I, I am not born and raised in this area. I moved here when I was uh, maybe like fourth grade, fourth, mm-hmm. fifth grade. Um, so I've only been here for like a couple of years. No, about, about like seven, eight years at this point. Right. Um, um, so if it's been, they've known each other for a good chunk of time. That's, and I never, in this issue, I never ran into Lenny. Huh. Uh, I would have had, that's all business. Um, anywho, but oh, yeah, he, he sees that and just, you know, it's weird when he starts to realize how deep family shit goes and he keeps going. He doesn't say anything about it. Just gonna let that one simmer. Yep. I mean, nothing's wrong with that. You know, every politician needs, you know, you like money. I don't know, I don't know if, 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 uh, Kwame would have, they would have talked about this, but Lenny has spent basically the last like decade of his life in and out of boarding schools around the world. So it's not like, it's not like he spent a lot of time with his dad. Yeah. And, and Kwame doesn't really, uh, I mean, he's close to his father, but as far as his like job goes, he doesn't really, he's only really been a part of it w- once, like really into it when he was on the campaign trail this r- last election getting you know the job that his dad a job so yeah so yeah it makes it that they haven't really run into each other into school um Gonna anywho solve a mystery a mystery a mystery, <laughs> solve solve a mystery, mystery. where the jacuzzi is yes uh now manny with your detective hat on and your eyes Scanning everything along with the power of truth at your back. You have found a very interesting room. Ooh. It looks kind of like an indoor swimming pool, but instead of Ooh. it being wide for many people, it seems to be built for maybe three. Uh, it is incredibly long, and next to it is a jacuzzi. <gasps> Oh, I think I found your mystery room. Kim looks around and then looks to you, Lenny. How many pools does one family need, Lenny? Um, I don't know. This one just has a lot. I mean, we added a few, uh, but this house used to be owned by the John Holmes' cocaine dealer. So it's, uh, you know. Okay. I Once you mentioned that... Something clicks in Kim's mind. She goes, oh, now this house makes sense. Okay. Really? I never understood it. And I hope you never do, my sweet summer child. (laughs) But yes, you are in a room you've never been in, Lenny, and there is a jacuzzi you've never seen. The mysterious fourth jacuzzi. Oh. It is very clean, though. Oh. It does have that lovely bromine smell. Julius would at least know about this place then if it's clean. Of course I know about this huh? place. Oh, is this like is this like your your like secret room? Like are we not supposed to be here? Oh, Master Lennox, no. I have no secrets from the Thatcher family. Uh-huh. Inside is that check. True? <laughs> 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 Wrong <What>? system. <laughs> what is that? What is that? I can go ahead and give. I'll, go, I'll let you guys all go ahead and give me intelligence or charisma, whichever is higher. I'm looking for at least an eight. Jeez, nine, nine, seven, seven. Nope, five. Again, that's my that's my D12 too. Lenny, is- Lenny, and Manny, both of you are like no, not Manny. Lenny and Kwame, both of you are like, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Manny, no, mm 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 mm. There, there's a secret here. There's Julius has a life secret. outside of Lenny, and he accepts that. This Julius guy is sketch. Yes, and we are twenty dollars away from finding out why they're so sketch. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think we want to figure this out, y'all. Yeah, man uh, just adjusts their glasses and you know, kind of uh, looks over at. Kwame and Lenny, who have surprisingly unsuspicious 
expressions on their faces. He's looking at the jacuzzi. Like, uh, but, you know, allows Julius to move on whenever he so chooses. So, like, are we allowed to get into the water? Or, like, is this, like, you know, it's like, it's like you know, the, the pool of everlasting life or something? Or, or is it just a, 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 a mystery pool? It is simply an indoor pool, Master Kwame. Okay. I'm, I'm, he gets in the water. Uh, Julius meets your eyes, Manny, and you have that brief moment where you're both in silhouette and there's like lightning between the two of you. Master Manny. Julius. Would you care for a, what? Do you have any desires for dinner? Ooh. Um, dinner. Well, ooh. Nope, I have no special requests. Just no pork, please. Very well. And he slinks off into the house. <laughs> That dude is hiding something. Kim looked over to you from the hot tub. Oh, he is 100% hiding something. He's got some sort of secret. I mean, I could feel it coming off of him. That dude is a mystery. I mean, everyone's got their own, like, life or whatever. So, well, I mean, of course, absolutely. He is, he is his own person with his own life i'm sure outside of this house and your family but i also think he's hiding something okay uh now thanks to the chat we have unlocked well we haven't unlocked but someone has mel pomino has chosen to draw from the deck of heroes and we are going to draw the lovers in reverse Okay. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just taking a moment to enjoy. Oh, Omega is just uh, <laughs> absolute nope of it all. That's not scary. That's not ominous at all. That's not ominous at all. Cool. Well. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm in the jacuzzi. Anansi's next to me. We chilling. Anansi is next to you. He he's got his hair in a towel turban he is cucumbers over the eyes this this is why i love humans uh, uh kawame just like chuckles um but he says so it's like weird right you know we should just be kids and now we're kind of like saving the world well i don't know if we're saving the world we're saving our school like I guess that's the other thing that I I kind of found interesting about this whole thing is like what is it all like actually ultimately tied to like what's like the bigger story behind all of like these smaller like sort of things that we've been dealing with there was there's like the the phantom queen and then there was the chess set and and now there's there's Odin and this stuff and it's like what is what does it all mean like, what does it all lead to? Like, you know how in some adventure, like TV shows, like Buffy, for example, like the big bad is uh, usually Buffy. connected to some sort of like, you know, like, like centralized evil of some sort. It's just like, are we on a hell mouth? Like that kind of thing. I'm, I guess that's the long way of me saying, I agree with you, Kwame. What's up? I mean, is it a hell mouth or is it like the center of like, you, you dress it or something? Yeah. Like, besides the door of oblivion, I can't think of a single uh, thing. Oh, wait, you think that that's it? I mean, the door of oblivion has to lead to something even bigger that we just haven't figured out yet. Oh, yeah. I mean, but, but it's alive, right? I mean, uh, the concept of, like, life and death uh, wait. when it comes to the door of oblivion is, like, uh, a human concept. You see, like, uh, exclamation points going off around Kawame's head. You got something? I, I, I threw it out and I was, you know, whatever, but now I'm actually thinking on it and this is I mean I could be wrong, but what are doors made out of? What? 
Odin, the well tree. Ah. Oh. So you think the door of oblivion is connected to Yggdrasil? If, oh, if it's getting bigger and badder, it, you're correct. It just affected the school at first, and now it's becoming a lot more than that. They're starting to show the, the asses, to put it bluntly. We don't know how much it's going to, you know. Yeah, yes, we said it's, it's been small, but it's been small because they've chosen for it to be small. But they, we're dealing with literal gods right now. Well, you don't I think guess... that like Ragnarok's on its way or something silly like that. I don't know. It could be. Oh, it's possible. Gosh. Kim, uh, when you were, uh, you noticed Kim before you were dead, absolutely horrified, by the way, before you like died or whatever, uh, and you were doing what we were doing. But back then, was there like, what was it like? Was it all connected? Is this why I didn't get to move on? What do you mean? Let me make she looks around to make sure uh, Julius isn't around. I died. Okay, I, 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 I didn't go anywhere. I just died. Uh huh. And it was because of that stupid door, and then uh, the Morgan went crazy. Sorry. Not that word. Not that word. Sorry. She lost herself because she, you know, I died. And, you know, uh, the White King was was her husband. You know, still dealing with that. I mean, we all do, like, strange things when people die. So, you know. But, like, um... But you didn't go anywhere. You just was stuck. I was literally a ghost for a decade. You guys brought me back. You guys saved me from that. Well, to be fair, they did. I didn't know you. Uh, Yet. Yet. But this door is tied to that tree thing. Well, I mean, it doesn't... Go ahead. It doesn't explain the the sins. It didn't explain them necessarily, unless they're not sins. They're like, I don't know. I mean, it's dark elves. If you want to go to like that mythology, but I mean, when you think about it, a lot of uh, the stuff we uh, I learned this in uh, our history of religion uh, that a lot of the things we contextualize as like. Uh, Catholicism are just uh, older uh, belief structures uh, that have been adapted uh, for ease of use by the church uh, over centuries or whatever. So, like, like you know, Christians have Christmas, but it was actually like a different thing. Yeah, it was Santanilla. It was a it was a a, a Roman holiday uh, that people loved so much that they said, uh, actually, uh, Jesus was born here. Forget when we said it was July. Uh, he's actually December baby now. Um, I haven't asked to do anything like this in a while. Um, but considering how much I read and how much I was like into like mythology and like poetry and all that stuff, including you know the freaking um, um, oh, I'm blanking on the damn name, poetic either. Um, just like all those things. Is there anything I might have read that's like tying any of this together at all? Go ahead and get me an intelligence roll. Uh, can I ask Anansi to not? I don't want him to like flip reality, but I want him to allow my mind to go to the right place. <laughs> How about or you can ask him to can organize ask, reality? Organize reality. There right. we go. I like that. There you go. go ahead. Can I me. assist? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, can I give moral support? And you no, can as well. Uh, and be so like, I heard know. oral support, and that's a totally <laughs> different thing. Whoa. Guys, please. <laughs> Sponsored. Yeah. Wow, wow, wowie wow. All right. Uh Lenny, go We're ahead and give me sponsored. a charisma roll. Manny, an intelligence roll. Uh Kwame, go ahead and give me power intelligence. I rolled a three. I also rolled a three. I rolled a 14. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna give you a plus one for both of their rolls, even though they were pathetic. Hey, uh, that was a three out of a D4, so that's pretty that's good. Still bad. It's on the higher end. 
this doesn't seem to fit what you know of the story of Ragnarok with, you know, the great snake and the wolf and what well, you do know Loki personally. So. Oh, I didn't even think about him. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I literally didn't put him together. Well, we need to contact him. So, and continue. Sorry. You go through that, and it's not an exact fit. It's close, but it's not an exact fit. It's like when you wear a shoe that's half a size too small. Um, you do, however, remember reading about ley lines. The energy flow of Earth and the universe, and how sometimes they'll connect and that will make a place special and that will make a place a door and you met students from the other side of the world who also have a school like yours maybe there's maybe that's kind of tying things together maybe there's a doorway that way so i'm understanding this just so i can just place it in my brain there's ley lines and where those ley lines connect are typically where doors form and if there are ley lines across the world as well are, are am i getting that we should probably go there or am i getting that there's just multiple places so we should find where all of the ley lines connect at once or like what? like the major you know i'm trying to figure out like it, it's yeah have you seen Star Wars? The first yes. original? Yes. No, not in a long time, but sure. Yes. You know how there's the Death Star, but there's one port? And if that port is destroyed, it blows up. You're living on that port. All of the energy centralizes here, but is flowing from other places as well. And there are other ports around the planet. But if any of them go, that might end in something bad. You don't know what. But if I could, I'd show the image of the Death Star exploding right now. So something is trying to overload the lines to make it blow up. Someone's trying to use that energy. What is, and if they are trying to use the energy, what are they fueling? You don't know. But Lenny, you did see something on the other side of that door. And you know that thing was much older than any divinity or god you've had. It's older than man itself. Whatever these ports, these holes in the earth that you live on could be a doorway for that thing. If it got out, if it were to overload, it could end in disaster. At least that's what you're able to put together right now. So destroying the doors is not an option right now? Oh, wait. But what, and just so I'm understanding too, Odin, but you're not alluding to Odin. The All Father is not Odin. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep saying Odin, but All Father. Mm -hmm. Or are you alluding to the All Father? I am Allfather. alluding to the All Father. Okay. No, I was about to say, okay, I kept saying uh, Odin. That that changes because I will say, <laughs> if that's Odin, then Jormungandr is behind that damn door. We did. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, sorry. Any of you. Okay, but honestly, I, I know that we are we are trying to figure this out, but I just want to be honest with the four of you, three of you, uh, Nancy, the four of you, I guess one to time where we're not being older than we are. Well, I mean, that's why I put a moratorium on the conversation earlier, Call me. You're the one who brought it back up. I know, I know, I know. I just, it's, you know what happens when you know that, that, Seed is planted, and you start digging on it. I'll that take the blame. I'm the one who started it. I'm no, sorry. no. There's nothing to. There's no blame. No one is to blame. I'm just. I don't. Yeah, I don't think anyone specifically is to blame. I think all of us 
we're called to do something that no one should ask people like us to have to do, but we all we all answered the call, and I don't think we're ever gonna like. Because we're the normal. school safety. That's what we do. Yeah, we we couldn't say no, uh, and that's probably why we got asked. And we're never gonna we're never gonna like not be this. It's always like the best we can hope for is like what Professor Wang or Doctor Ash have, you know, to be like kind of adults, but also do this. This is just what we are. Well, some people give up their divinities after they graduate. So that's an option. Oh, I guess, I guess, yeah. I didn't think about that. I don't know if I could. I mean, I think you have a very different circumstance than a lot of us. I mean, I'm on it. It's like, I'm super surprised, like, you straight up, like, decided to not give it up right away. Because, like, I'll be honest, like, if I die fighting and then come back, like, I feel like I've done my part, you know? Yeah, you came back to it. You had a choice. I got kicked out of my house when I was 14. Oh. I got to go to North Point on a scholarship. That's why I'm here. That's why I got so close to Dr. Ash. And that's why when I got my divinity, I, you know me, I'm gung ho. I go hard and I've, went hard she's not just my divinity she's not just my you know the morgan's my best friend i couldn't not keep doing this i couldn't give her up i'm not i don't have it in me you might making other friends i've made other friends she punches you lightly in the shoulder i mean but if you're happy it's your life if i'm on this i uh i don't think i would give it up either not many can handle him like I can. That's not a hit well, that's at 100% you in your... That was shade. That was shady. It was you shade. Was but shady. I mean, I was... said that. I straight up said that to you earlier. Uh, but yeah, like, I think same. Like, this past, like, year or whatever, um, this has been the only time I've ever, like, had any control in my life. And that's, like, totally because of all you, but also because of Ninkasi. You know what? I think I would give up my aunt. not because I don't like her, but because she's given me a really important and special gift. And I think that other people should experience that too. But, but that's it's not I... something I have to think about for a few more years. So, but the, uh, that's if Anansi's power was in the wrong hands. It could do worse than I have already done. So I need to make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, I completely understand. You guys have deities that are definitely a lot more volatile than, I mean, not to say that in the wrong hands, Ma'at would also be like super scary, but she has, she has a, a way about her that I think lends itself to like being of use to lots of different types of people. So yeah, it's just a different personality types. I mean, it's the difference between, you know, changing reality to get the burger instead of chicken versus changing to reality to make sure your father wins the political game he was going under. Because if he didn't win, life would have been shit. And because of that, when the person he's married to is no longer here. That's the difference. Holy shit. 
Hi. Oh, that's what happened? Oh. You erased your mom? When you move here as a newbie, I'm sure you might understand this. I don't know how long you've been here. Many. Uh, but, you know, looking like we do, we got a lot of flack. And um, that was hard enough, but we got by. Uh, but when your father is doing very well for himself and he seeks to... Run for Congress, um, and the person he is going against decides to do a smear campaign, saying he is an illegal immigrant, and he wasn't um, allowed to be here or supposed to be here. And then the signages happen, and the um, the words on the garage that I don't need to say out loud and the discrimination, you know, it becomes too much. And I had just so happened, ran into a Nancy around this time and I asked him to help, you know, make this easier for us. So my father can just do what he wants because he's a good man. And he did. But in doing so, um, there wasn't his win made counter protests happen, things that weren't supposed to happen. And when those counter protests um, um, cause chaos and the police is called, um, people leave. At that moment in time, my mother just so happened was going to the store. Well, she had just got done and someone ran a light as they were being chased from the police. She didn't make it to the hospital. That oh, butterfly effect when you change reality. It's why I don't do it as often. But if what I could do was in the hands of someone else, you could picture how much they might not care. So that's why I can't give up this power. And that's why I don't um, intend on letting anyone else have it. That, that's totally fair. Yeah. You want to go hunt some ghosts? Yes, actually. I want to hunt a ghost now. Hmm. We're going ghost hunting. Maybe some ice cream. Julius, can we have some ice cream? In cups that we can carry around? From behind the jacuzzi. Oh my god! Rises. As if he's on an invisible on a small personal it's a sounding. elevator. Time is flating. And he has Ice cream available in red solo cups for the four of you. Ah, thank you. Is that where you get this from? Hmm? Lenny, the red solo cup thing. Is this just a thing? This is just a Thatcher thing? No. I mean, they're useful cups, but, you know. We buy them at bulk at Costco. Yeah. You shop at Costco. Just because. Okay. Just because we have. <laughs> It's like my dad says, just because we have money, Lenny, doesn't mean we can't go, we have to go spending it all around uh, like a bunch of uh, Rockefellers. Except on really fancy, extraneous houses. Okay, let's go. Oh, boy. Um, Kim Though, Manny oh. shouldn't talk because their parents are in oil, but you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oof. <laughs> uh, so Kim's gonna well, not their parents, back. their family, I should yeah. say. Parents are doctors. <laughs> Kim's gonna wait for Kwame a little bit. Uh, yeah, like get out the pool and you know, yeah. get dried off. Uh, hey, Kwame, 
Yo. Um, What's up? Bye. Sorry, going through uh, the checklist my therapist gave me. Um, thank you for trusting me with that. Thank you for trusting everyone with that. That could not have been easy to admit or talk about. Uh, I mean, um, it sucks and I miss her, but I can't rewrite what I've already um made real um but uh you know she wouldn't want me to like you know sit back and be like oh no you did bad she would want me to do what i can and and live the life i was meant to live so uh you know we're all going through stuff together that wasn't meant to be like a my life is worse than yours type of thing but um oh no no you made the girl who fucking died feel bad so you definitely won but um listen you're not the first person who's had a nazi okay when i my first go around i knew someone with him you're better with him than anyone else i've known and I respect the hell out of how you take care of it. It's a um, serious thing to be able to do. Um, and, you know, I'll be honest, I still don't know what the true consequences of becoming the captain of the basketball team are, but I hope it wasn't this. I doubt it. I doubt you playing bat, making yourself captain of the basketball team is the result of what you call it, Ragnarok. I mean, but it was that to ensure that I was prom king to ensure that no one else had to deal with the crowns. Um, I just, I don't think it is, but I still think about that. I try not to go that big. I got it. I'm just saying, I think you're. I think it's really cool how you handle it. And I respect you a lot. You can see like a pin gets pulled out of Kawame's, uh, like out of nowhere where Nancy just hands me a pin. Can you please um, say that one more time for me? Oh my God, no. Anansi has a camera out. Anansi definitely... You don't even know how it's like shoulder mounted. <laughs> He's he has the good focus on him. She looks at him. You both suck. You both suck. Okay. I take back every nice thing I said. All I, I redact all of that. Okay. Can't all do of, that. I, I know I can. you can't you can't redact what's already been done. Oh and I he, can try. He gets up and um he begins to walk out towards the others with ah. with Kim. <laughs> so Night falls at the beach house. You hear the gentle waves of the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the house beautifully lit, even at night. And Manny, you are ghost hunting. <laughs> so how does one ghost hunt at a sprawling mansion? Uh, well, I, I imagine that we all have our flashlights properly prepared as well as plenty of water. You've got to stay hydrated when you're, when you're chasing scares. Um, I imagine that, you know, this, if there, are, if there are rooms that this place is haunted, then there's no way that they don't have one of those like old time, like uh, paranormal, like detector things that do like little clickies and like let you know when you're like in a particularly haunted area <laughs> yeah. like i'm sure one of those just lying around in a we, desk yeah, we, somewhere we have an old electrometer that's not calibrated so it goes off at random times to prove that there are ghosts yeah i'm sure that you know manny has been fiddling around with that for most of the day trying to get it to work um probably getting some of my aunt's like you know truth 
sort of stuff like kind of well weaved into it a little bit to make sure that like you know if there are actually ghosts it will go off at the proper time they've basically been enchanting this electrometer to like function you know truthfully essentially <laughs> I need to spend an AP point for that, I will. I'm not going to make you spend an AP point for that. I am, however, going to say, as you guys continue to search past dinner, uh, around 11 o'clock strikes, you hear the grandfather clock uh, by the entrance chime and chime and chime. And Manny, you see it. You see a woman draped entirely in white, with long black hair covering her face, wandering down the far end of the hall as you, from where the four of you stand. Ghost, ghost, I see the ghost. I was not expecting to find anything. Lenny, what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. Let's uh, follow her. Okay. Kwame's gonna hate me. Oh. Unless he decides he's going to stay back here, which is totally valid. I completely understand. Oh, he is not allowed. <laughs> that is 100% not happening. But yes, as you stalk after her, um, I need dexterity rolls from both of you. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Wow, not a great one from Lenny, too. Oof. Yeah, it's not a great. He's on vacation from... mode. He's not, you know. Four. Oof, bad from both of you. I mean, I can't roll higher than a six on a dexterity check, so. But I guess Kwame needs to know he's rolling one too. Yes. We found a ghost. Oh, he can't hear me still. No. Welcome. We found back. a ghost. Yes, you found a ghost. There was a woman dressed in all white with long black hair covering nope. her face. Nope. Nope. Uh... <laughs> nope. <laughs> Told nope. You so. <laughs> I told you so. Like we all go went ahead to to follow her, but I was sitting here just like, "There's no way Kwame is going with us." <laughs> I think what's happening is, um, if, if if the ghost has been sighted and it's been audible that they've been sighted, he starts to back up and oh, Kim just pushes him. Oh, good. Yeah, he starts to back up and Kim just pushes him forward. Oh, like, she nope. absolutely is like, nope, 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 nope. nope. Oh, I, I said I was ready, but I don't think I was. Roll, you got I need, this. I need dexterity roll from Kwame. Remember, Wait, what, you are very no. strong. Remember, you are very strong. You are yeah, strong in, in body, not in spirit. Well, I can do <laughs> <my spirit>. that. <laughs> 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 not could not have been a better roll. <laughs> like, really couldn't have been better. I just imagine that. it's that. So it's that. Yeah. Scooby Doo thing of Kwame turned and started running away, but then the carpet was like rolling behind him. <laughs> yeah, I got a one on that roll, y'all. That was that was very appropriate. Could um, have been a better roll. Kwame, you catch yourself on the rug. You fall, barreling into Lenny, who barrels into Manny, and Kim is over the side. Uh, we and as we drew the lovers in reverse earlier. Kwame, you are right on top of Lenny. Ah, sorry. I, 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 I thought I tried to run the other way and I, I fell on you. Ow. Oh, hey, you're, you're quite soft. That's good. Well, oh, I mean, you're, 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 you're firm, but okay, I'm getting off. Ah. That's a good quality to have. Yes. Yeah, no, it's a good quality. You're just not. Manny has 300 pounds of boy on top of them. <laughs> I mean, it's probably never going to happen to me again in my life. <laughs> it's fine. I could deal with it for now. Get off of me! All right, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've crawled. I've rolled over. I need no. to find. Lenny offers a hand to Manny to get up. Thank you. Uh, after the ghost. And just then, the lights of the Thatcher estate go dark. Oh, I like the effect. Suddenly. You hear storm clouds rolling in. Oh no. Thunder flashes. And at the end of the hall, you see the woman in white with black hair covering her face. She has one visible eye and it's staring right at you, Kwame. Why are you looking at me? What do you want? Tell us. 
They, they, they are the detective. I am just the uninvited. Well, I'm invited, but the, the guest who wants to stay in the back. She I'll begins to move towards the four of you. Coil. Oh. Oh, sick. Uh, I don't do that. Uh, uh, you, you stay back. Uh, nope. Uh, greetings, uh, ghost. Uh, my name's uh, Lennox. Uh, my dad owns this place, but I guess uh, ownership is a is a, a concept of the living. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I need a. Uh, let's make a charisma roll from all three of you to see how well you're handling this Oop. ghost woman. Ooh, approaching oh, four, four. <laughs> which is the max I could do. Four for me too, and not the max I could do. <laughs> Just like from the best charisma of the group and the worst roll. <laughs> you well, couldn't write this, y'all. You couldn't <laughs> write this better. This I have a D twelve for like charisma. Would you roll for this one? <laughs> nah. No, we won't let we won't let the story unfold. All right. Sometimes the dice tell you what you need to know. All of you are shaken as every time the lightning strikes outside, you see her getting closer like a strobe effect. She's janky and stretching and angular. And suddenly she is right next to you, Kwame. And you, you gotta run. You are way too scared oh, yeah. this woman. He's out. Nope! Nope! I nope! <laughs> nope! I'm out! Nope! Just as a reflex, Manny just manifests their sword and shield and like waits for the others to like sort of run away behind them and is basically kind of acting as the as the like shield as they also retreat, but backwards. We just want to talk. We're not interested in like fighting or like hurting you. We just want to know what's up. Mm -hmm. Maat, do you mind shedding a little bit of truth on the matter? Uh, yes. A warm breeze blows through and her hair whips back and you see this woman is covered in bandages. Except basically from the nose down. Are you my mommy? She stands up and looks a little offended. Lenny, go ahead and, uh, you know what? I'm not going to make you roll. You recognize the eyes as they are close to you. That's your mom. Not Stacy, but your actual mom. Oh. Mom? Lennox? Yeah. Huh? What are you doing here? What um, wh why are I'm here with my friends for, for, for... School break. Why are you dressed as a mummy? No, it's this. It's with this week. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Um, um, well, mommy had her lips done and her nose done. Okay. Um, and I talked to Julius, and he, uh, I thought he said this was the week no one was going to be here. Uh, oh my god. Uh. Hello, you must be uh, Lenny's friends. It's it's nice to meet you. Oh yeah, this this is Manny. Uh, this is Kwame. Uh, this well, is Kim. Kwame is in the back, like behind a, a corner, looking. You can see his head. Oh. And this. Oh my God. Um. This is Mom. Hi. Hi, Hi Mom. Uh, <laughs> you can call me Miss Bishop. Um. Oh my God. This is. The worst thing. Uh, Wait, are you not the ghost? I swear, I know. I, I I've seen, I've read stuff. I have salt and 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 um iron or whatever. Does what does Dean Winchester? Not like? a ghost. Um, Lenny's mom. Ghost, I, I just had plastic surgery. What are you? Do you often do you often roam your own mansion in flowing whites? and your hair over your face you can imagine how it looks i lost my con i i can't keep doing the mouth thing uh i lost my contact i was looking for it and i'm having a really bad hair day oh well it's really nice to meet you it's i wasn't nice expecting to, to run into lenny's mom 
Where'd you lose the contact? Oh, somewhere around here. I can't find it anywhere. And she looks around and she's, her motions are very jerky and very overly drawn for someone looking for a contact. Lenny just kind of like drops to the floor and he's like shining his light around and just looking. You got a good kid. I hope you know that. Oh, yes. Lenny's a wonderful boy. Uh, just then, the lights come on, and out of nowhere appears Julius. Ah! I fixed the generator. I apologize for the darkness. Oh, I found the con- oh, wait, no, popcorn. I feel like I could speed this up, but I don't want to waste your powers, Ma. <laughs> I appreciate that. Looking for a contact. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Manny's also down. <laughs> Not a horse looking for this fucking contact. <laughs> oh, we didn't get a ghost. That's okay. Oh, Are yeah, there Mommy. ghosts here? Mom, we found the secret jacuzzi. Oh, wonderful. Oh, my God. I've been looking for that for years. Oh, your brother claimed he found it, but he never showed me. And Kwame, as you stand in the corner, watch it around, peering around the corner, seeing everyone search for contact, you feel a hand on your shoulder. No! Ah! And there's nothing there. Nope, I don't. Nope, uh, Lenny. You, uh, mm, uh, mm, <laughs> nope, I see something touched me, and I don't like being touched, especially by things I can't see. I don't like it. It's not what I do. Also, Anansi, t- t- take off that monocle. You don't need that. Oh well, wait. He found the contract. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, um. Oh, you look very familiar. Uh, you can call me Miss Bishop. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Why do I mom says. look familiar? Hi, Kwame. Kwame Akinimi. I can, oh. I knew your mom. Oh. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, she was a. Uh, she was wonderful. You know that. Yes, I I, I do know that. Um, I mean, your your ex your hus- ex husband knows my father too. So. Yeah, I know. You got married before? T- oh. Okay, I put that together. I got it. <laughs> yes. Well. well- Happy to find your contact. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, You're definitely going to want to clean it. Oh, oh ab- absolutely. This is getting very cleaned. Ah, gross. Um, sorry, to, sorry to ruin your ghost hunt. I really did think no one was going to be here this week. I got the dates no, wrong. No, you, you more or less made our ghost hunt. Mm. It was a very creepy effect. Kwame like looks behind him again just to make sure nothing's there. Hmm. Kwame, you absolutely see the faint outline of a man behind you. No one else seems to notice it though. By the way, what's the what's the deal with Julius? Um, you know, I've tried to figure that out for a very long time, and I, I, I got nothing. I have no idea. The most I ever got was I asked him where he learned to cook, and he said Beirut, and that's the only thing he's ever said to me about his life. Hmm. Well, we're going to go watch a movie or something. Yes, I believe a family man. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, sound, that sounds great. Uh, do, do you mind if I join your kids? Oh, yeah. Huh. Great. Oh, so happy to see my baby. Kwame, no one, no one notices the go the ghost void man behind you. You were the how, only one who sees it, and it is how, looking right at you. How? Oh, what do they look like? It is. They're about six feet tall. There's n- like no real defining features of them. Hmm. Well, Nancy, I don't know what that is, and I don't like it. 
Anansi is foaming at the mouth, upside down, in terror. I will solve the mystery of Julius if it is the last thing that I do. Let's go get popcorn. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're just going to walk you know, that way, away from you know, that area, that general that area over there. You're lying. Obviously, you're not fine. What's going I'm, on? I'm, I am great. I am having a good time. Um, I'm here with my friends and Linny and, and Linny's mother. And, you know, it's, it's having a, a good time. Hey, you got to meet one of the parents. It's a big, big step. A step for what? Nothing. <laughs> As the three of you joined by Lenny's mom and Kim... And Lots of buttered popcorn. Have so and much gummy popcorn. worms. It's a trough of popcorn. Okay, soda is, about this big. Soda. It's a child-sized soda, in that if you it's, liquefy a small child, it and it's not microwavable popcorn. Uh, Julius makes it in a wok, like he like gets the wok, he puts the like it's the whole deal. After Julius serves you your popcorn and trough of soda and everything, Julius retires to his quarters for the evening. And as he sits down in his room, may, which is filled with antiques, well-worn and well-loved, dating back from the 1800s, you'd estimate, he looks up, he pulls out a stack of playing cards from the 1930s and gives them a good shuffle before dealing them out. All right. Ace is wild. He is surrounded by dead members of the Thatcher family. Ghost of the Thatchers. As the immortal butler, Julius, who is made of pure magic, plays cards with the dead. Thank you, chat, for unlocking the butler did it. We now know the secret of Julius. He is actually magic, and he is actually a construct of the family. Nope. <laughs> nope. He's a golem. <laughs> uh, why are the ghosts here? Uh, so the house because haunted it's, a white, it's, it's a rich white person's house. Of course it's haunted. Period. I mean, come on. I don't know the idea that Julius is in every house. Every yeah. Thatcher house is Julius. <laughs> and and they where... all look like uh riff what's raff? Or, yes, Riff Raff. They all and and not a single member of the Thatcher family for some reason is able to put it together. Just for not some one. reason they can't they can't comprehend that the same butler has served their family for for very long time, and it's the same person in Some all sort of their homes. Enchantment. Some sort of weird enchantment on the Thatcher family. It's an enchantment if you just don't care. If you can't be bothered to look at the help more than once at a time, then yeah. yes, I guess so. <laughs> that is so dark. I love it. And that's what we're going to call this episode. Thank you all. Uh, wait, nope, nope. That's not what we're going to call this episode because we do have some toast from our chat. Thank you all so much. For oh, these. yeah. Does the summer home have a uh, yeah, intercom how do we system? Get an intercom, like, at, is it? Uh, who, 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 who? Oh, I know who it is that does the announcements in Linux. Like, it has to be Julius, doesn't it? Oh my god, it does. Yes. Oh Jesus. Uh, Lenny, can I still get the noise? Yep. Attention, members of the Thatcher Help household. We do have things to clean. It is very important, but we do have announcements before we get to the cleaning. First, we have a toast from Five Foot Latina. The North Point Sex Ed Society invites any students, faculty, and staff still in town to attend tomorrow evening's lecture slash workshop on he healthy sexuality through the human life cycle. Did they, did they Join like us for a presentation and break the breakout discussions in the auditorium. I they... haven't had sex since the 1830s, and I assure you life is better because of it. Next up, we have a, to a toast from Malpomino. It's just a jump to the left, 
and then a step to the right with your hands on your hips you're bringing your knees in tight but it's the pelvic thrust that really drives you insane let's do the time warp again I don't do the time warp anymore. I haven't done it since the 1980s. And finally from Tony, welcome to summer break. Why I'm working right now is beyond me. I swear I was supposed to be on an Alaskan cruise, but apparently I'm here now. Anyway, no skinny dipping into four jacuzzis. None. Thank you all. And have a wonderful night. What Lenny and Kwame get up to after everyone's gone to bed is nobody's damn business but theirs. You mean sleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you all for a very different episode of New Pantheon Academia. We are powered by the Overarm system available now in Drive Through RPG. It is a rules light anime inspired role playing game that. Uh, People have used for wonderful systems out there. If you find the Digimon hack, I highly recommend it. It does work very well. Uh, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. Uh, until I get that cease and desist, that's going to be my thing. Uh, we will be. We are planning to have the free demo of Queers, the tabletop RPG, inspired by the web manga of the same name, uh, available. Hopefully by Friday, fingers crossed. We just got to get things together. We got some art assets. Uh, it is a wonderful, inclusive game that pays homage to not only queer history, but Super Sentai history. And we're very proud of it. And we are so excited to bring that out to you. Uh, next up on Saving Throw Show, we have our Dark Alliance finale this Thursday at 1 p.m. It is our Dungeons & Dragons show. It's very good, and I very much recommend it. Uh, Aki, where can they find you? Uh, I guess if they're looking around, they can find me over on Twitter at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. Um, yeah, and uh, my schedule is, is lightening up just a little bit. Um, which isn't to say I wanted to do that necessarily, just nature of things going the way they go. Cause uh, yeah. Um, but you can Take find my, yep, yep. You can find my entire streaming schedule over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv uh, slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. I love it. Uh, mostly Eric, where can they find you? Oh, they can find me mostly Eric on all the all the internet things because that's that's my name on all the ones that I'm on at least. Uh, they can also check me out uh, later tonight, 7:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the Twitch.tv slash Kyle McCarley for the Board and Barrel, which is a board game show I do with some buddies. Uh, we are going to be playing Deception: Murder in Hong Kong, which is oh uh, that game's it, so good. It's such a good game. It's it's one of my favorites. Um, oh man! It's uh, and then besides that, you can catch me uh, when I'm not streaming on my own personal Twitch channel. Uh, this Thursday, I will be uh, be playing some more uh, Dungeons and Dragons: Dark Alliance with Dom and the crew. Uh, we'll be finishing out the Dritz Dwarden, the 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 protagonist of D and D. That's me. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill all the goblins. <laughs> As we all know, there's only one protagonist in Dungeons yeah, & Dragons. It's, it's the whole thing. It's Dritz Ward. And last but certainly not least, Critical Bard, where can they find you? Yeah, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bard, uh, including the Tick of Talks. Uh, I do too much. I'm a professional actor and vocalist, tabletop guy, hot mess incarnate. Um, ooh, excuse me, gross. You can catch me tomorrow over on Realm Smith's uh, YouTube for our Christmas Straw campaign, Into the Mist. Uh, you can catch me on Tuesday coming back for Outbreak Undead uh, over on Hunter's Entertainment, where I play Marcus Greaves, an ex-cop who is, is a genuine person who now is about to reunite with the lost love of his life, who has undergone an interesting transformation, and they don't know it yet. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. I, um, I don't sound angsty at all. Oh, it's stressful. Um, on Fridays, you can catch me over on Rock Punch ATL for Tampa, which is a campaign, a D&D &D game set in the uh, islands of Sinai Una, K 
campaign setting, which is inspired by pre-colonial Filipino culture. On Saturdays, you can catch me on my channel for Let's Get Wild Mount, along with Aki. Uh, we had episode one yesterday. Thank goodness. We'll be back next week for episode two uh, of season two. And yeah. And then uh, Dungeons and Directs every uh, Sunday before, right before this game, actually, over on twitch.tv slash I Need Diverse Games, where I am the DM of an all black DD campaign. Hell yeah. That's me. Oh, I might be streaming tonight, too, playing Back for Blood, probably. And if you don't have the game yet, uh, you can get the beta from a drop watching anyone playing the game for an hour. Uh, the beta also comes back next weekend as well. That's the Left for Dead life, right? Yeah, basically. Hell it's yeah. like the devs that did Left for Dead. Yeah. But they actually made a game. I love it. Um, all right. Uh, special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. Uh, Thank you, Dom. Show, we love you, Dom. The show would not be possible if without him. Uh, thanks to you for watching, listening, however you take this content. Thank you so much for uh, being part of it. Um, ah, God. We have another draw from El Pamino. We will be doing that next week. We got your draw this week, but I owe you another one, apparently, and I'm so sorry for that. Uh, we will definitely be getting to that next week, where same bat time, same bat channel. We'll be back to New Pantheon Academia. Until then, stay safe out there. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>